We are here at GraniteCon with Rob Paulson, whom you may know from the Animaniacs. Yep, that's me. I'm Yakko. Hello, nurse. Hello, <laughs> camera operating nurse. Wow. This is the coolest thing ever. Oh, thanks, buddy. Really. What's it like working and doing so many voices? It is uh, about the best job in the world, Les. You know, uh, I, I essentially get paid to do it. used to get me in trouble in seventh grade. <laughs> And so to be able to uh, come to situations like that and meet all these nice people and get a chance to spend time with folks who've grown up watching my stuff is such a huge thrill. I really appreciate it. What, what's the hardest voice you've ever had to come up with? It's the most difficult one you've ever um, done. Hmm, that's a good question. I, I suppose, uh, you know, the mask was kind of difficult because the core voice was basically my own. But every time, the, the, every time Stanley Ipkiss would put on the mask, he'd have to turn into a different critter. So sometimes that got a little bit uh, tricky, but it's just such a labor of love. It's never hard. It's challenging. You know? Do you ever get confused doing voices? Because I know a lot of voice actors, they're doing more than one voice. Oh, yeah. Um, they'll... They claim they never get confused. <laughs> well, I think I don't necessarily get confused. I sometimes... I, I wouldn't deny that maybe sometimes I've gone, I've gotten a little bit off the beaten path of the sound of a voice, and then the director will say, "Yeah, it's a, you know, you need to do a little more of this or a little less of this." But once I've got a character that is pretty, uh, uh, you know, well known or that I've done a season with, then I pretty much slide right into it. How much fun was the Animaniacs? Oh my God, it, it truly doesn't get any better. I mean, I, you work with people that are world class talents on both sides of the glass, and Mr. Spielberg. Uh, and then 20 years later, here we are, and your beautiful camera operator probably wasn't born much long after we started doing Animaniacs. Oh, please, she can sing the songs. Oh, with that, but, but the point is that people now in their 70s love Animaniacs, and people that are seven or eight years old love Animaniacs. So that's a testament to Mr. Spielberg's vi uh, uh, vision and genius because he definitely modeled those shows after Rocky and Bullwinkle and Bugs and all the shows that were that did not condescend to the audience. They were definitely created to be on several levels. And very smart shows. Very smart. And I'm incredibly proud to be part of them. And now, 20 years later, to meet people who are discovering the show again is just a huge thrill. Rob, thank you so much. Thank you, Les. It's a pleasure. Take care, you guys. Thank you. Thank you so Get out, everybody! <laughs> can, can we do one more thing? Sure. The show's called Sci-Fi Saturday Night. Sure. Can I have you in a voice do it? Sure. You say, uh... I'm Rob Paulson. Got okay, ready? Hi, I'm Rob Paulson, and you may know me better as Pinky from Pinky and the Brain, and, hey, God, you're watching Sci-Fi Saturday Night. Nerf! <laughs>